Okay, in this video we're going to work some examples of converting from radical form to exponential form. So to do this, you have to know that x raised to the power of a over b, that's exponential form, equals the radical expression with x raised to the power of a in the radicand and with the index being b where x is greater than 0, a and b are integers, and b is not equal to 0. So let's do some examples. All right, the first one is the square root of 8. The first thing we want to do is factor the number 8 in terms of its, of its prime factors. So that would be 2 cubed, square root of 2 cubed, which equals 2 raised to the power of 3 over 2. All right, let's do another example. We have the cube root of 12a squared b. 12a squared b. First thing we do is write the number or factor the number in terms of its prime factors. So, let's see, 12, that would be 6 times 2, which is 3 times 2. So those are our prime factors. So that equals 2 squared times 3, and then we write a squared b. Of course, it's the cube root of all of that. So now we write 2 raised to the power of 2 over 3 times 3 raised to the power of 1 over 3 times a raised to the power of 2 over 3 times b raised to the power of 1 over 3. Okay, that can be, nope, I was going to say that can be simplified, but, but that's it. So you've expressed this radical, this expression in radical form to an exponential form. Okay, let's do another example. You have the square root of 25 a to the fourth b to the third. Okay, let's express the number in terms of its prime factors. So that would be that would be 5 squared a to the fourth b cubed. Of course we're going to take the square root of all of that. And that equals 5 raised to the power of 2 over 2 a raised to the power of 4 over 2, b raised to the power of 3 over 2. Okay, now that can be simplified further. 2 over 2 is 1, so that gives us 5. 4 over 2 is 2, so that gives us a squared, b to the 3 halves. Let's do one more example about the square root of 125 a cubed b squared, a cubed b squared, with the square root of all of that. So let's factor 125 in terms of its prime factors. That would be 5 cubed times a cubed times b squared. a cubed b squared, square root of all of that. So that's going to give us 5 raised to the power of 3 over 2, a raised to the power of 3 over 2, and b raised to the power of 2 over 2, which equals 
a to the 3 halves, or I'm sorry, it equals 5 to the 3 halves times a to the 3 halves times b, because 2 over 2 is 1. And that's it. I hope that helps.